So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day, the day of your resurrection, the first and the eighth day, the day of Easter, your morning rise, sun rising for us, the dawn of our salvation in you. We thank you for the gift of life for each one of us, for our loved ones and the people that we love as well. And thank you for keeping us safe and protected in your loving arms, for embracing us and for being with us and trusting to you today, our moment of prayer and sharing that you called us, your disciples, to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We confirm us, O Lord, in our vocation and this dignity of being disciples, that wherever we are, we may sustain with your grace and the power of the cross, the very mission you have entrusted to us. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Jesus Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the soul of the earth, but if soul loses its taste, with what can it be this season? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light might shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good and evening. Happy Spirit Sunday, all. Spirit, Father, good evening. Good evening, Father. The Father. reading of the day is a continuation of the Beatitudes of last Sunday. And the next Sundays would be really explaining to us and how to live the Beatitudes. Remember the last Sunday, no? And the blessings that we are today is none other than the Lord has affirmed us to his disciples and to all of us to become salt of the earth and light of the world. Two very basic elements of our lives, of our everyday living. Of course, needless to say, salt gives flavor, seasoning, as well as taste to what we are eating. So in the same way, the disciple, as the salt of the earth, should be living a life worthy of his dignity as a disciple to preserve the faith, hope, and love, to preserve the proclamation of the good news, to fight when there are really irregularities that would be against moral dec- moral life of our people, especially when there is corruption and moral decadence, and to everything that a Christian should live for. And the light of the world is a very ordinary language of when there is the light, there is no groping. Darkness is over. So much so that our task as the light of the world is to remove the ignorance of people who are still groping in their faith, in their story, and their life, even their sufferings, even in their complaining and everything. So much so that the Lord today, he wanted us to leave this dignity of our discipleship and vocation. But we can only do that one when we go to the second reading of St. Paul that says, we have to embrace the cross of Jesus. After all, that is the proclamation of Paul, Jesus Christ crucified. And beautifully, wonderfully, said, amazingly, he said, I do not have the wisdom to speak about the cross about Jesus crucified, but God's grace has given me this possibility. So embracing Jesus Christ crucified affirms us in our being salt of the earth and light of the world. After all, that's the very foundation of the life that we should have, of the life that we are having as disciples. And of course, the first reading of the day invites us in a practical sense what do we mean and what do we do when we are salt of the earth 
and light of the world. Isaiah today said, share your bread, shelter the oppressed, clothe the naked, do not turn your back away from others. Because when we do that one, these are the charitable works of mercy, corporal works of mercy, then the light of God is upon us. And there is as well healing from our woundedness. But the second one would be also beautiful because when we do that one, he said, whatever you ask and when you cry for help, I will be there and I will answer, here I am. And what is that? To be salt of the earth and light of the world is to remove in our midst every oppression, false accusation, and take note of this very beautiful malicious speech. And so therefore, there is no room for bad words, no room for judgment on others, but only an affirmation and positivity, appreciation of others as children, brothers and sisters of ours, sons and daughters of God. And so when we do these things, then truly the light is upon us. And so therefore, there is no more darkness. We overcome the gloom of the day and every day becomes like a midday where the sun is rising. So today, let us see ourselves where are we as salt of the earth and light of the world? How did we live our faith? And what are the moments that we say, truly we are the taste, we give flavor as well to the life that we are with others in our work, in the society where we belong. And when did we become light to others as well, especially in removing their ignorance, in sharing to them the word of God and letting them understand in their faith even in their own predicaments, in their own situations in life, even in moments of grief as well as in other possibilities, when did we become light for them? Kaya nga napakaganda ng araw na ito kasi the sharing, uh, I know you have all the experiences how to become salt of the earth and light of the world. That in a very short way, in a short one, just take one, how did you become light? How did you become salt? that you may share your own experience or something that we can thank the Lord all for. Amen. Okay. So who would start to share your life as light of the world and salt of the earth? Thank you for the silence. It's wonderful. <laughs> You're welcome, Father. <laughs> When we lead others out from their negativity, from their even experiences of grief or experiences of problems or difficulties, that's being light. That's being salt. When we confirm them, accompany them, in their lowest moments, that's being sold in the world. When we have good words for others, for friends around us, especially this week, that's being sold of the earth and light of the world. For sharing to them the word of God, what we are doing, that's becoming light of the world and salt of the earth. So I believe you have a lot of these possibilities within the family, with others in your workplaces, as well as in other ways that you and we live our dignity as disciples of the Lord. Anybody? Uh, sometimes, sometimes no, without knowing it, Father, no, no. Um, my personal experience, uh, let me go back to the ministry again. Uh, my personal experience because of this uh, reading the gospel, um, reading the reflections from you, from others, but that um, as unaware as we are sometimes, no, it, it becomes part of our system, na, ang word of God, your reflections, the, uh, homily, and then every single day gospel reading and sharing ba that it becomes part of our life that that we are not even aware that we be, we are already becoming salt of of the earth and and uh, um um light to other people without even without even trying we are doing it but we are not uh, aware 
yeah so 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 the action becomes um uh, become so natural but Oh, oh, spont mm -hmm. yeah exactly spontaneous Spontane and natural uh, mm -hmm. without even trying so so the bottom line is um uh in in my in my personal experience no na na sometimes i surprise myself i surprise myself but na oh did i say that even even sometimes in this in this reflection but in this reflection that we have in the zoom meeting that we have no mm -hmm. and then sometimes when i start uh, saying like a uh, let me think of something like that and then and then sometimes i surprise myself no na oh did i say that mga ganyan ba na na um, i just so thankful really really thankful that that um um especially That's in this nice. permitting and dealing with other people no that my tongue my tongue is guided not to say any negativities and then uh, in my in my in my siblings they they sometimes tease me <laughs> they call me uh, ano pastora <laughs> mother <call> superior <laughs> <laughs> they already call me pastora but without trying without really trying it's just so spontaneous but and i really thank um um all of us i mean all, all of you especially Father Danny, you know, for listening to his reflections, to his homily, to the wonderful prayers that we have, a gospel reading every single, every single day. It's a seven days a week, talaga, no day off ang, ang Zoom meeting natin. And I thank the Lord for this opportunity, really, to grow spiritually and to spread, to spread the good news and the, the, the you know, the chance of, of, um, of uh, developing others um, spiritually, helping others spiritually and emotionally. Yes, yes, right. Emotionally. Amen. 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 And your light, Tita, is ready to put us all together, we assume, because of your technical uh, knowledge and wisdom. And really doing its best to to spread the good news. I guess that's being light of the world as well. Yes. Thank you for that. Amen. Amen. I know we have a lot. All all of us have have a lot to to say really about yes. um, yeah. Uh, mm. Hi, Tita Claire. Good evening. Hi, hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Thank you. Good evening. Very nice, Tita. Very nice. So, anything else? You're not, you're not, you're not even aware that you're doing already the the role of being light and salt of the world you, you're not even aware yeah when Sometimes we become we... light we become salt when we see someone when we witness someone who is down with problems or being ridiculed being humiliated and there we are i would say each of one of us has been an inspiration to others who had been in a difficult situation, most especially in the family, as well as in our friends, servants of God in the church. We did. And I thank <laughs> God for the spirituality I am getting, not only in the in St. Hannibal's group from Father Danny, but also to other spiritual group that I am uh, with. Yes, it had uh, molded me into uh, being salt and being a light to a friend as well as to those people who, whom I've just met, whom I've just encountered, but had they have poured their heart on on Facebook when they were being and I have witnessed someone else had been humiliated 
And there I was inspiring them to overcome the overwhelming odds in their life. That's it, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Tita. Thank you. Thank you, Father Tita. Other shares. How did you become light of the world today or this week? Yeah, I. Anybody else? Oh gosh. <clears throat> that, but the, the the lights that you have, Sabi Sagas, you don't have to put it under bushel basket <laughs> you have to let you have to show it <laughs> show it you to share so it. that others would see the light it should be on the mountain top so that it can be seen and others would follow yeah. beautiful experiences um, in this uh, ministry alone Beautiful experience. We we don't know it, but uh, or we are not aware of it. But we give light to each other, even even here in the ministry, in our ministry, yes. we give light to each other. Very true. Very true. That's why we become closer, spiritually closer. So. We become really um, a family. I, I thank yes. God for that. Uh, so, so thank you, faithful warriors. Thank so you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, being light it's a bit better than Madame being light, Sian. <laughs> Oh, last anything, anything fun. <laughs> you have done a lot for your uh, residents. Every time you have operation, you brought them the novenas. The <laughs> yeah. That you alone, Father, well, you're taking you, know? you to. Oh. Yung, I, I was so impressed that it about sa, sa project Nino, sa Chongwa, na you have the spirituality something like spirituality in in the medical field something like that that father danny in was the, uh, in, in the work in the work father place. danny was was the uh you know, the speaker I, I, I was so privileged because uh i'm handling the residents in uh, Mandawe. so i thought that for a start of the year uh i will i will uh put in spirituality in the workplace to, to let them start on the right foot because uh, at times we receive uh, complaints from patients or from uh, significant others uh, on sometimes attitudes of our residents when maybe they are so already uh, very tired, very lost pa patients, two patients, and so. So, uh, I I thought of inviting Father Danny to talk to them uh, on the first month last January. So Father did it so well. I forgot to tell you that that uh, listening to Father. I was really impressed how he imparted the words of wisdom to our residents. And I was observing our residents and I was also very, very thankful and because they listened really to Father. I was I wow. was really I was really struck 
and odd and because uh the new generation you really don't you really can't tell you know although they already have values at home from good schools from their families from their homes they already have set of values already but then uh it's nice to to let somebody who has the authority like father danny to talk to them to reinforce what they already have so it was a very successful afternoon with father danny and father santos was also there it was really a very successful uh, activity and hopefully it can reinforce their values the core values then that they will be more compassionate to patients and will really see Jesus in the patients that they take care of wow. with God's mercy wow. thank you Amen. for the wow. affirmation <laughs> 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 they, they were listening kasi si Tita Bel nandun pagalit si Mom baka they might the they, they might be evaluated by Tita Bel they are not listening iba <laughs> <laughs> father they were really listening very they were listening <laughs> yeah they, I saw them naman Tita <laughs> oh, very nice. So in, you initiated the project at Itabel. You initiated yeah. the project. Yeah, it was the number one, uh, the number one agenda in the year, in the oh year-long activities. Wow. Yeah, that's every month that they have for Tita. But Itabel started with with me for the spirituality in the workplace. Oh, and it's going to be monthly, no? For that. Project. Wow. I mean. uh, maybe maybe tell our classmates, no, some of the classmates who are in different hospitals, no, to also do the same, to be light and salt, no, of the world, and then from doctors, and then to and then to the patients, and then on and on and on and on. Wow! I was really remembering what am I going to share? So I, I. Not until Father opened the... I forgot all about it, Father. Huh? Because <laughs> I was focusing on what did I do during the week. But mm -hmm. I cannot remember that I, I did something good like being a salt of the earth. Uh, yeah, salt of the earth and light to the world. I, I cannot I cannot really for the life of me remember a thing that made me so this week. So I, I even forgot all about it, Father, not until you reminded me. <laughs> because it was last time, Father, no. Yeah, I was thinking about na the week. Uh -oh, the week. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it was a great achievement, Tito Bell, really. Um, yeah. Something yeah, yeah. different. Very, very Some... impressive. Oh, oh, oh. You, you should have been here listening to Father. <laughs> oh, I recorded. Even, I, even, record. I even, yeah, it was recorded. I'll try yeah. to ask oh. my secretary. It oh. was recorded. I, I even asked Father, oh, maybe Father, we should have another bout or another round well, for a retreat <laughs> this time, for a retreat. Ah, yeah, retreat, no? Yeah, for a retreat. Oh, very like, nice. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Now we because, will do uh, it for the, uh, no? <laughs> for the yeah, group not in no? retreat. Yes, oh, for the oh very nice. Wow. <laughs> wow. I haven't experienced a holy retreat with the colleagues or uh, a seminar or a um, small group discussion about spirituality. Wala, talagang wala ako naka-experience. So, oh, when you come it. Tita, we can set one on September or October. Parang prayer yeah, para you're... to pwede yeah. din natin. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow. We can have a schedule of one day recollection or overnight. Sa silang. Yeah. That will be when very nice. Sa silang tayo pupunta. 
Pwedeng Silang, <laughs> pwedeng Cebu, pwedeng Iloilo, kung saan yung mas, oh, mas madami. Para oh. lesser, uh, ano, one, yeah, could be, it could one be. Day, one day retreat, no, and then um, stay overnight, no? Yes, wow. it would be great. Ooh. We will be, we, we will pray for that. Yeah. Yes. We will pray for that. Very nice. Wow. Thank wow. you, Tita Bell, for sharing. <laughs> ako lang Thank you also, ako Father, lang for lang. reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That is your light. You you pull them. Even yeah. You know, sabi ka, during operations, you you teach them, show them the Venus, how to, how to oh. giving them the Lord. I guess that's the most important. Oh. I know, of course, many of you, Tita Nick, is doing so much in the province in Bohol uh, with all those things, her own way, uh, uh, seminary, yes, all of these things that you are sharing. Mm-hmm. So it's not, yes. ano, it's, not to, it's not being proud when we share because this is God's gift to us. This is the yeah. spirit leading us. So that's why uh-huh. we have to let the light uh, shine and we are putting the light in front of us. Okay. So uh-huh. thank Father. you. Abba. Father, I have one concern kasi. The more that um, you go about, like trying to share and trying to be the light of the world, and mm. and the more that you do, you have this experience. My experience mm. also is that the more that I want to reach out to people mm-hmm. in my circle who are actually uh-huh. quite difficult, quite and difficult. Great, so it's a challenge, Father. The more yes, you want but... to do, the more also that it seems that you are faced with challenges. Yeah. The more and, and and sometimes it gets to you, it makes you a little sad because mm-hmm. you cannot reach these people. But mm-hmm. uh, maybe persistence. Maybe you just have to maybe it's not yet time for them and maybe mm-hmm. the soil is not ready. Yes, uh-huh. Tama. In God's Very time. Uh-huh. Yeah, in God's own time, maybe, yes. Father. But sometimes uh-huh. you get yeah. depressed. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yes. you get discouraged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because our tendency is to see the results immediately, no? To, uh-huh. to see that they are accepting, that they are appreciating. But, you know, it's, it's really taking time. It's really taking time for all these things. And ultimately, uh, in in God's time, uh, when they say, when they are open now to the Spirit, when they allow the Spirit in their hearts, so you know those are really the fruits. At times, are not really forthcoming immediately. <laughs> yeah. We need to be more patient. We need to be more patient and to accompany them more. Even tama, you know, frustrating at times because we try to do as much, but. But you see, it's not really now that when we do the thing, our effort should be uh, surrendering it to the Lord. Yeah. Because it's also the Lord who would make it uh, more fertile, Often, what yeah. we are doing. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you realize, Father, sometimes in your depression or in your, you, you say, really, I'm just human. Because I yes. have, <laughs> yes. So you're right. Very true, Surrender very true. it to the Lord. Surrender it to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the Lord, the man who would make the soil of their hearts fertile, if it is yes. ready or not. At times, there are other man. Because it itabel nga last time sa you know, we don't know what would be the reaction, Father. So, but you know, I said we will try. We'll try to yes. see what we can. So we make it more interesting as it should be. And of course, seeing how they are responding to it. Ang ganda nga sa namin, Tita Bilaten, sabi niya, I know that you have all, you are well off, but I, but I appeal to your, to your heart. <laughs> because this generation are well provided for father. Yes, yes. 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 yeah, they have everything. They have everything at their fingertips. So they yes. don't really experience Hardships. Hardship, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because uh, everything's given to them. Yes. And when you look at their faces, they're talking well off. If the Lord Lord has a place there, but you know. (laughs) But I I guess they're absorbing, they're absorbing. 
<laughs> Dandahan well, lang. Minsan yung tatawag na slowly, yeah, slowly, slowly we in check. And the more yeah. we in check, the more it will be cascaded down to their heart. And ultimately, they will yeah. embrace it. Ngayon, minsan parang feeling natin walang nangyayari. Di ba kahit sa inyong parents, no? When you talk to your children, when you give them this way, feeling nyo minsan hindi sa nakikinig. Pero yun pala pag nag-asawa sila, when they have their own life, what they are doing are all the things that they are learning from you. Yeah. Uh, it's true. So how much more with other people? <laughs> Na yung connectivity natin could be by authority, it could be by work, it could be by, you know, only on that line. But sabi nga natin last time, when the Lord calls us His brothers and sisters, that's the greatest connectivity. Deepest relationship. Because we are dear to the Lord. Yeah, just like when Jesus called uh, Veronica, the 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 uh, that bleeding hemorrhage, hemorrhaging woman for twelve years, Father. She has a yes, name uh, after all, no? Veronica. Ah, Veronica. Pala. Ah, she has a name. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she's just called Veronica in the movie, The Chosen. Yes, uh, but the, she has. No name in the Bible. No name in the, the Bible. Bible. But in some, Father? yeah. But in some literature, we call it up uh, apocra apocrypha or pseudo apocrypha. They are putting some names. Oh, apocrypha. apocrypha. Yes. Uh, apocrypha. These are the literature outside ng ating ano uh, sa biblical literature natin. Yung approved, which we say canonical and inspired. So apocrypha and pseudo, no pseudo, using the name of. So they put some names. Even for example, the story of Judas, no? <laughs> yeah. So was, in that line, Tita Bell, she was daughter. named uh, Veronica, yes. Veronica, father. Oh. Mm -hmm. The woman with hemorrhage. Mm. So uh, it was so touching that scene when Jesus turned his uh, turned his uh, turned towards the crowd and asked, "Who touched me?" Who touched me? Because because mm -hmm. as if his strength or power was yes away from him when when that hemorrhaging woman touched the task of his. Uh, garment and then yes. he he really he really called Veronica my daughter so nice mm -hmm. that scene but that scene was uh -uh. so touching and so it really was making some goosebumps but when mm -hmm. you see the face of Jesus uh, calling Veronica my daughter, daughter, so nice. And that's a very personal encounter, no, with that woman. Yeah, and very, G very the, the woman encounter with Jesus. You see, when Jesus allows you to see His face, grab your father, no. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that scene, MJ? Yeah. Oh. Oh, very oh. touching. Uh, for very me, all touching. the scenes, yeah, every every minute of that movie is really so inspiring. Oh. Every moment, so inspired. By, you 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 can tell no, you could tell no, na inspired by the Holy Spirit talaga in making that movie, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, grab oh. ang impact. Grab ang impact. All the same, that's a movie. You have to discern which is the real biblical language and what are the added ones. Yes. Uh -huh. you, now, you, un you have read your Bible, you have uh, yeah. knowledge, you have deepened yourselves, then you know which is which. So for example, mm -hmm. Tita Bell was saying uh, Veronica, but in the biblical language, wala siyang name. Yes, so wala yan ang mga added by, added by the director na yan. Oh, Just for God. the sake of putting cinematographic effects and even uh -huh. an appeal to emotions. But in general, it's an appeal to the emotion of, you know, 
Jesus facing her in order to cure her. Uh, and, and the healing though is not is never generic. It's always personal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's always personal, never generic. Like I said, that's her appeal. If I can only touch the tassel of his cloak, I will be healed. Diba? Yun ang samayin niya. Doon ang kanyang expression of life. If only, if only. And she touched it. Wow, so nice. So thank you for the sharing. So thank I you know very much, Father. Has thank you, Father. Welcome. Welcome, has experiences of lights and being sold. And today, it's, it invites us, the Lord invites us, like he told his disciples, to be as such in the world. So let's continue. Preserve faith, hope, and love. Preserve life. Preserve goodness. Preserve friendship and brotherhood. Preserve family. Becoming light to others and whatever we can do to the people we meet, family, at home, and colleagues in the work. Continue to give them the good example, the appreciation in particular. Yeah, in first sitting, no malicious speech, no words that would hurt mm -hmm. others, but only words that would inspire. After all, we have the word of God. So we now place ourselves for prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For confirming us. For confirming us. To be the salt of the earth. To be the soul of the earth and the light of the world. And the light of the world. We too, Lord, we have our deficiencies. We too, Lord, we have our deficiencies. As well as our weaknesses. As well as our weaknesses. But we trust in your bountiful love. But we trust with your bountiful love. And greatest mercy for us. And greatest mercy, mercy for us. us. Give us your spirit, O Lord, to be our strength. Give, Give us, us your spirit, spirit O Lord, to be our strength. our strength. To sustain us to become good examples. And to, to sustain us to be good, good examples. To become inspirations for others. To be become, become inspirations for others. For others. So that we will continue the mission you have entrusted to us. So that we will continue the mission you have entrusted to us. Above all, like St. Paul. Above all, like St. Paul. We may embrace the proclamation of you on the cross. We may embrace the proclamation of you in your people on the cross. And to find wisdom. And, and to, to find, find wisdom, wisdom in your crucified life. In your crucified life. life. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for pray us for sinners, our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Angel of God. My God, God's love to me, ever this day be as my spirit and guard to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal, pray for us. Send the Lord, the apostles into your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening and good, good morning. Evening. Good evening. Thank, Thank you Father. very much, Father. So nice. Wow, Thank beautiful so day. No? Welcome, you, Father. Welcome, beautiful all. day. Welcome. <laughs> and we are thirsty. Nice sharing. Wow. <laughs> very nice. So, 13. Wow. So very good. Very nice Thank inspiration. So many. <laughs> yes. So. Si Tito James Tan. Si Tita, ano ito, di ba? Belen. Tita Doc Evelyn. Tita Belen. Yes, Tita uh, Evelyn. Uh, Opa. Yes. Tita Evelyn, good evening. Bakya, bak bakit uh, I, I, I supposed to ano, change the name. Ayun nga po, Tita. Kay Jimmy, pa na pangalan. Oo. Baka calling niya. 
And then, tita ano siya, English-sized name, English-sized name. <laughs> That's so nice. Ay, tita Floor, Ay, yes. So, thank you. Have a nice evening. Happy thank Sunday. Thank you so much. Oh, Good, love you. Good night, Father. Take care, Father. Good night, Father. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. We love you. Bye -bye. We love you. Bye -bye. Pointers for today's gospel. Number one. Jesus wants us to make him known by being his light and salt in this world of darkness and falsehood. Number two, as we follow Jesus more closely, our lives will change for the better. Our selfishness will give way to service. Idle time will become opportunities for prayer. Others who see the light of Jesus in us will want to follow him as well. Number three, take some time off today to examine the way you are living and ask yourself, how can I follow Jesus more closely? Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tita So Lin. true, Tita Lin. Oh, Very, very true. Thank you. Thank you. So for the closing prayer, please go ahead, Miga Bilen. Okay. Uh, thank you, God, for all the blessings you have given us yesterday, today, and for all of our tomorrows. Bless us, O oh Lord, for all the for all the bounty you showered us. We, are, we adore and honor you, holy, your holy name. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory be to the Glory Father, be to the Father and, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning now and now ever, and shall be the world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.